In this video, I'll be demonstrating the new AI smart box interface module. And what this is, is the ability to add various features and peripheral devices to your vehicle's uh, CarPlay smart solution. Uh, this company's taken it, uh, the CarPlay experience, and expanded off of it. And the beauty part of, of this is while doing it, they've also retained your CarPlay experience. Now, uh, this is the module here, as you can see, fairly small in size. The cable itself is a single USB connection, which I will show you here. I've already made into the center console. It's a USB-C connection, but for uh, those that have a USB standard, uh, the supplier has also included a uh, USB standard uh, cable connection adapter. So the module has been connected. Once the module is connected and recognized, um, you can see the little blue LED that's inside there uh, to power the unit on. There's also a um, USB standard connection here. Now, in the event you want to go to, let's say you only have a single USB port in your vehicle, you can plug in your phone directly to this to do charging. It just becomes a pass-through device. Or you can add peripheral devices to the module. The manufacturer has also included uh, various outside devices like a CD player, for example. And that CD player, um, they have sent me one here, as you can see, fairly small in size, very attractive. Um, this hypergloss finish here matches a lot of the, the hypergloss uh, settings, as you can see. Uh, in the vehicle. This is a Porsche uh, 2022 Taycan Electric, and it has a lot of these high gloss accents. The finish here is a soft rubberized feel, but more importantly, it's going to give you a CD player back, and this is the user uh, interface for it. Now, you can also see in this device, the user interface, there are other apps on the screen, phone casting, YouTube, Netflix, um, YouTube Music. Now, when you connect the device to Wi-Fi, which you can see here, it says no Wi-Fi connection, that connection will uh, give you um, the ability to stream those applications. And in streaming those applications, uh, you'll be able to watch movies on, on your, of course, your car screen. Now, the important thing about that to understand is the liability is, of course, your responsibility. Yes, you can use this while driving, but of course, be smart about it. Uh, there also is options for phone casting. So if you want to cast the screen from your phone to the display, you can also do that. But the reason why the manufacturer built Netflix into the device is because some apps like Netflix do not play video while phone casting onto devices as such. Um, that is, a, of course, a copyright infringement, and they don't allow phone casting like that. But you can use the app. You can control it from here. And also, again, uh, keep your CarPlay experience going. What the manufacturer also built in was a wireless CarPlay and Android Auto converter, as you can see here. And the reason why that's important is because, again, you may only have one USB port. So in doing so, you don't want to lose CarPlay. So the factory has included that um, as you can see here, I'm getting messages while I'm doing the video, of course, but let's go ahead and push CarPlay. Here's your CarPlay user interface now that all of you are used to. You have full controllability of your CarPlay suite. You can, of course, launch uh, your navigation system. You can go back to your CarPlay tiles. And if at any time you want to go back to the uh, factory module screen, you can simply push the Android icon. It brings up this screen. Now, this module uses the factory source control uh, from the radio. So what that means is you don't have to uh, jailbreak your radio or connect a special wire to make it work or anything like that. All you simply have to do, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this, is this is the factory home key. You push that, the factory user interface pops up. I'm gonna go back into CarPlay here for a second, or you can push your source selector from your um, stereo control buttons. You could push it from your center control panel. It's no different than having a different source, like switching from satellite radio or AM FM. The operation is exactly the same, hence the reason why you can see the original factory icons on here. So you're protecting your factory radio experience all the way through. Um, the device is very, very versatile, super easy to use, and as you can see, it has some really great features in it for you to experience.